Sleepy Dog definitely differs from the traditional vet clinic, partly because of the kind of medicine we practice. So instead of doing more conventional medicine and quicker medicine, we do herbal medicines, nutrition, Reiki medicine, integrative medicine. So we'll incorporate and really rely on all our alternative medicines like acupuncture, chiropractic, massage therapy. We use those different physical modalities to help the body heal in different ways. My name is Beth Ennis, and I am a veterinarian and the owner of Sleepy Dog Veterinary. I started Sleepy Dog as a mobile veterinary practice, so I would go to people's homes and see dogs and cats at home for alternative medicine. I did that for several years, and it was wonderful, and I loved it. And then I developed a chronic pain condition called fibromyalgia, and so sitting in the car was not gonna work as much as it had. I started thinking about what my options might be. I started looking around at spaces in the areas that I served and on this location, and I thought it was just gonna be me and I was just gonna see patients here. But my team has kind of grown up around me, and so it's kind of taken on a little life of its own. My name is Brian Freitas. I'm a branch manager for Cambridge Savings Bank, and I manage the East Arlington branch. So the relationship with Beth and Sleepy Dog actually started before even I arrived at Cambridge Savings Bank. I just basically, you know, kept it going. From my standpoint, it's more about just you know, how do I foster that relationship with uh, Sleepy Dog and Beth in particular? You know, how do I help them succeed financially? With CSB, they have helped me in terms of securing business loans, line of credit, helping me as I've grown in different ways, how to manage different kinds of situations. Like now that we have people remote, we have to do different things to keep their expenses covered. Brian was really helpful in helping me get a loan and also helping to manage my stress during that time and my expectations for like what the timeline might look like and how that might go. Also, I find it really helpful to have a bank that's in my community, so I walk down to the bank and it's awesome to have that friendly relationship.